Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This week we have two beautiful new Raquel Welsh styles to look at. This is dress rehearsal in a color I've been wanting to try for some time, Shaded Ice Java. And this is Take a Bow in Shaded Wheat. I can't wait to get a good look at both of these styles and the colors. First, I'd like to thank Shirley's Wig Shop for sending me these styles so that I can review them for you. And also to remind you that Shirley has a private Facebook group called Shirley's Wig Shop, Hairs Looking at You Kid. And it is just a wonderful group where you can exchange ideas, information, ask questions, get to know other wig wearers and just show off your styles. And we invite you to join us there. Also, I wanted to ask if you haven't done so already, please subscribe down below, like and comment and we'll get started. So as you can see, dress rehearsal here is just a stunning, longer, sleek, light density style. Absolutely beautiful and you will have so many styling options with a wig in this length. Uh, we do have some bangs and you can see I will leave uh, the measurement for the bangs here in some text so you can see so you could absolutely trim these bangs and uh, have them shorter or you can sweep them to the side and I think I will want to do that. I think I will want to uh, steam them away from the face, create a little lift here and have side swept bangs. That's just what I usually prefer to do and right now she is falling in my face quite a bit as you can see so I will want to do that. Uh, both of these styles are made with beautiful, heat-friendly synthetic fibers, Raquel Welsh's True to Life heat-friendly synthetic fibers. And um, the caps are identical as well. These are Raquel Welsh's new Lux Light caps, and we'll get a good look at that when we look at the cap construction. Uh, you have a few layers here and there, just a few shorter pieces. I think that gives some nice movement to this style in addition to the bangs um, and then just a gorgeous length. So let's go ahead and look at some of the details. We have that extended lace front which is so well done. Raquel Welsh just does a wonderful job. It runs from here to here on me. It's hard to know exactly where it is. There it is. Um, and then even though this is a dark color um, and I don't see a lot of the highlighting when I've seen photos on other styles in this color I have seen a little bit more of the brown highlighting but regardless uh, this hairline is really well done delicate knots soft hairline with a few brown I think lighter uh, fibers in the front not quite as dark as the rest of the style um, but I'm not seeing a lot of highlighting and we'll go over the color later as well. We have a left mono part and right now we still have that zigzag parting and I will want to remove that um, and steam the new part in place and we'll do that together as well. So let's go ahead and I'll give you a good look at this style from all sides. Here she is from the right and the back. Beautiful movement and the left. All right, so absolutely a beautiful, long, sleek style. I will want to style her into an updo and a ponytail later as well, and we'll look at that. Um, but next, let's go ahead and do some styling, change the part line, and steam these fibers away from the face. Okay, so I have my rat tail comb here, and I will use that to create the new part line. Uh, I do have a little bit of dark bio hair under here uh, and I will need to add some silicone scar tape to help create scalp appearance. Um, so we may not see it right away, but let's go ahead and change the part and see what happens here. And I just sort of run it down the center of that zigzag. Okay. Yep. I'm not really able to see the part line yet, I think because of my dark bio hair. So I will get a good look at that um, on the blockhead and after I've placed the tape there to make sure that that's where I want my part. I'm going to go ahead and clip it just in case this is where I want it. 
Um, and then I will place her on the blockhead and we will steam this new part in place so it doesn't revert right back to the zigzag and we'll steam the fibers away from the face. All right, so she's on the blockhead and we're ready to do some steaming. I did play around with that part line a little bit more and I moved the part a little bit further to the left within that mono part area uh, to create more scalp appearance. Right in the center of that mono part, I found that the fibers were a little more densely knotted and I wasn't getting as much scalp appearance. Um, but I love it now and I think you could go a little to the left or a little to the right uh, within that mono part and create more scalp appearance if that's what you like to, to achieve. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do our steaming. So I have my iSteam steamer here that I purchased on Amazon. I'll leave that in my description box down below. And I also have a video on my channel all about how I like to steam style my synthetic and heat friendly synthetic wigs. And I will leave a link so that you can watch the full length version if you would like. So what we're going to do is steam this new part line in place. And then I will steam the fibers away from the face on the blockhead uh, and just add a little lift so that everything stays away from the face and I get a little bit of lift around the face as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Be sure to direct the steam at the fibers, not at the delicate lace front or monofilament portions of the cap. Keep your steamer moving. Don't leave it in any one place for more than three seconds. All right, that should do it. Now I'm going to let these fibers cool so that this new style can set. And then I'll put her back on and we'll see if we like these results. So the fibers are nice and cool, still a little damp and that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and see if we like how this turned out and I'll remove the clips. So absolutely, this is exactly how I like it. Just a little lift around the face and you can still sweep these bangs to the side. Um, but not have them falling forward as much throughout the day. That is just how I prefer to wear my styles. So absolutely love this result. Let's go ahead and do the test once, twice. You can see the bangs are wanting to fall forward a little bit, but I think that's only when you really bend forward this way and then they just fall back uh, into place nicely. So absolutely love the steaming method. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll look at the cap construction. So let's look at this Luxlight cap that we have here on dress rehearsal. What you have is a left mono part and it is a dedicated left part. I would not want to part this style in any other areas uh, of that top other than in this mono part, but you have a little room to move it around. And then you do have this beautiful extended lace front that comes about halfway or a third of the way down the ear tabs on both sides. And I love extended lace fronts because they allow you to style the wig away from the face and still have the appearance of hair growth all along the extended lace front, wherever that falls on you. Um, so I'm a huge fan of those. Then we have the ear tabs with metal stays inside and they are covered with this silicone that is easily removed. You can see the stitches there. The silicone adds a little extra grip and security and uh, but you can easily remove them as well if you prefer not to have those. They don't bother me even with my bio hair so I would just leave them. Then we have an extended nape for a bit of extra coverage again with that silicone that is removable. We have a Velcro adjuster, so you can adjust this to your circumference. I have a 22 inch circumference. All my measurements are listed down below in case you'd like to compare uh, your measurements to mine. And this cap fits me very comfortably just like this and I could still loosen or tighten these adjusters. And I should mention that this is a listed as a petite average cap. Um, by Raquel Welsh and um, but I as I said with my 22 inch circumference this still fits me very comfortably um, and then we have hand tied portions and some wefting so you see we have just a little bit of wefting sewn in here near the nape 
Um, but the rest of the cap is hand tied. So the other portions, including this area next to the mono part are all hand tied. There's a little bit of a mesh fabric. Hopefully I can lift it. Yes. Covering in this area. That's not the mono part. Um, and then the fabric. So starting here at the crown all the way down, this is not a stretchy material. Not really. I, I would not stretch it because I'd be afraid to damage it, including this area here. This more brown shaded material is stretchy and you have that on both sides. Uh, the top, not stretchy. So the effect that you get with this is that I would say the cap is stretchy side to side, but not front to back. You do have, of course, some stretch in the circumference as well with these elastic pieces. So one additional little thing that I noticed, and I'm not really sure what this is for, but there's a little loop. If you look here, we're looking at the top. And so this is approximately the crown area. There's a little loop sewn in. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, on both styles, on dress rehearsal and take a bow. And uh, I'm not sure what that's for. If you are meant to use this to hang the style, I'd be a little afraid to do that because I would uh, fear that I would stretch this material. But yeah, interesting. I would, if, if you know, I would love to know why that's there. Um, and I think I have covered the cap. Uh, I did check the style for permatease. And of course, in the hand tied portions of the cap, you have no permatease. You do have some permatease in that wefted portion near the nape. So overall you get this wonderful light density close to the head, natural looking style and a beautiful cap construction. So let's look at some styling options. I realize I forgot to show you the silicone scar tape that I like to use on the underside of my part lines to help create scalp appearance where otherwise my fine and thin dark bio hair might show through the monofilament. And I like to use the AWD medical silicone scar sheets. I purchased them on Amazon and I'll leave that in my description box down below. So as you can see, I just apply it there. It's one sided and uh, very easy to use and remove. So let's go ahead and put her on and you can see I've left my bio hair out um, so that I can use it and, and incorporate it with the wig to create a ponytail later on. So here we go. All right. And now you can see that very natural looking scalp appearance that we were able to create here with that scar tape. Make sure she's positioned correctly. And I like to just finger comb my styles if possible. All right. Now let's go ahead and see what we can do to style her a little bit. So first I always like to test an ear tuck because this is just such an easy way throughout the day to uh, keep those fibers completely out of your face if they're long enough. And if there are some shorter pieces, you can always bobby pin them or clip them. But as you can see, we can do a little half tuck on this side and I probably could even do a full tuck on the left here. And that works very well to keep fibers back. The density is low enough that it's not too bulky. Then sometimes I take a little claw clip like this, just a mini claw clip and take some of these shorter pieces in the front. You can just twist them or pull them back and then secure them with this little clip. And that's another way to just quickly really ensure that no fibers will fall in your face throughout the day. Let's look at the headband. This way I can show you exactly what kind of coverage I'm getting as well. Okay. Ah, I love that look with this style. Very pretty and very natural looking. I do think that my bio hair is close enough of a match that this looks very natural. So again, we have that extended lace front and it runs If I'm feeling for it. It's a little bit hard to tell, which is wonderful. That means it looks and feels natural. So about to here and here, I think my bio hair needs to be tucked under just a little bit here. 
So that's where it extends on me. As you can see, very delicate knotting, which is remarkable for a dark color like this to have such a soft hairline. I do think just a few of those lighter fibers are in the front here to help with that. And I think that looks wonderful. Parting space looks great. Let me go ahead and make sure she's on completely. Um, run my fingers along the edge here. So this is where the ear tabs are hitting me. Let me make sure that it's not bent at all. Those little stays like to bend up sometimes. This is where it is ending on me. And I really think this is a nice amount of coverage for this cap, despite the fact that it's petite average. I think I get quite a bit of coverage with this style. So I think this is a cute look throughout the day just to pull these fibers back. And I think a lot of ladies with longer hair would wear their bio hair this way. Lastly, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love uh, creating a ponytail, especially with the summer months approaching because this is such a wonderful way to just feel a little cooler and have those fibers off your neck and not feel them at all. So I'm going to go ahead and use my bio hair that I left out uh, with the style to create a ponytail. All right. I think, yep, some of these shorter pieces do want to fall out. And so, of course, you can either have them, you know, framing your face. I would, I think I would tuck them. You could also pin them back with a bobby pin, but I think a little bit of a messy ponytail look is awfully cute as well. And of course, you might also cut these shorter pieces into bangs, so then you wouldn't need to tuck them this way. But let's go ahead and look at that. I did want to mention I wrapped the hair tie three times, so that confirms to me that this is a light or light to medium density style. So let's get a good look at that from all sides. Hopefully that looks good. Here she is from the right and the back and the left. Similarly, of course, you could just twist these fibers up and uh, create a little French twist with a claw clip. And I think that would also be a very cute look. So absolutely a lot of versatility for this little style. And uh, next we'll go outside and we'll get a good look at this beautiful color. And I'm hoping we'll be able to see the highlights a little bit better outside in natural light. So let's get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. Again, this is Shaded Iced Java, a color I've been wanting to try for some time. And I have to say, it doesn't disappoint. I think this is a gorgeous, on the cool side, deep dark brunette shade with a little bit of off black in it. Um, and I think out here in natural light, you can really see some of that highlighting, that brunette highlighting. Uh, that's a little harder to see inside. And uh, let me show you, I have the sample from the coloring. Here you can see the root color and then the off black blended with the brunette shade that uh, is blended for the rest of the style. So if we hold that here, you can see that. I do think that on the sample, the rooting is a little more obvious than it is on the style. I think that transition from the root to the rest of the color is really well done and gradual and natural looking. I also think the highlighting that you can see is beautifully blended, not at all stripey, and uh, just adds a little depth and dimension and looks really lovely. You can, of course, especially see some of the highlights in the front, and you have to see this hairline here in natural light because it is truly remarkable. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to hold still and talk for a long time so that you can really see this uh, because for a dark color like this on a heat-friendly synthetic style, this is truly remarkable how soft this hairline is and natural and how delicate the knotting is. I do think a few lighter fibers here in the front really help with that as well. And uh, so beautifully done, which is, you know, we, we've come to expect that from Raquel Welsh. Um, and then you have the parting space, which also I think looks very natural. And all I've done is place some silicone scar tape under there to create that scalp appearance. So absolutely a gorgeous dark brunette shade that we don't see too often, I think. And uh, it is absolutely lovely and very natural. And if this is the color you're looking for, I highly recommend this Raquel Welsh color just because of the realism, especially around the hairline and just a beautiful shade, not at all too shiny and subtle with some highlighting. Um, 
just gorgeous. Let's go ahead and look at it from all sides. Here we are from the right and the back and the left. So absolutely a very natural, deep, dark brunette shade with a realistic hairline and parting space that really mimics human hair growing out of your head. So next we'll go inside and we'll get a good look at Take A Bow. So as you can see, Take A Bow here is an adorable, shorter style. Reminds me a little bit of Upstage and absolutely has these flips here in the front and in the back. You can see similar to upstage. Um, and then we have this fringe and I will leave the measurements here in some text for exactly how long these front pieces are. She is falling forward quite a bit. So I absolutely want to steam these fibers away from the face and change the zigzag parting. And I will do that uh, and then be back since we've already done this once in my video, I think is enough. Um, but absolutely an adorable little flippy style, uh, just a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and show you the details. So we have the same cap construction as with uh, dress rehearsal. We have an extended lace front that runs from about here to here on me. I sometimes have to make sure that my bio hair is tucked under. And we have again that soft hairline with lighter fibers in the front. Really well done, beautiful lace front and a left mono part. And I will create some scalp appearance there and then we will look at that together. So let's uh, go ahead and look at her from all sides right out of the box. Here she is from the right. Make sure nothing is under my collar there. All right, from the right and the back, beautiful movement. You can see those little flips and layers. And the left. So absolutely, I can't wait to see what she'll look like when she's not falling forward quite as much. And uh, normally for myself, I would relax these flips or trim them even. Um, but I think for purposes of this review, I'm going to leave them the way they are. I know that many of you like these little flips and uh, that's a really a fun look as well and just looks like you styled your hair. So uh, let's go ahead and look at some styling options. First, uh, let's do the ear tuck. Easy to do. I would definitely say this is a lower density style. Um, and so not at all too bulky. You can easily achieve some ear tucks, full tuck maybe on the left here. And let's look at the headband because I want to be able to show you what kind of coverage I'm getting on this style. All right. Again, that wonderful hairline with the lighter fibers in the front, delicate knots, beautifully done a very natural looking parting space, mono part there. And the ear tabs are falling here on me. So if I run my fingers along, that's where they are. Some of my bio hair is showing. That's always the case. I have a low hairline and so that just happens with me. But you can see this is really with my 22 inch circumference. This is really a nice amount of coverage. So Absolutely. I think this is a, an adorable look with this style as well. Just pulled back into a headband, easily done and removed. And uh, so absolutely, you have a few options with this flippy little style as well. And I did want to mention also, if you would like to watch a video for how I like to relax and trim these flips, I'm going to link that in my description box down below in case you'd like to watch. So. Next, let's go outside and let's get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. So here we are outside again and uh, let's take a good look at probably my favorite Raquel Welsh blonde. This is Shaded Wheat. I've reviewed it before on Straight Up With A Twist and loved it then and I love it now. This is just such a beautiful warm blonde shade with a natural brunette rooting. You can see you've got some darker warm blonde and then maybe slightly more platinum blonde highlights blended together with that darker root. I do have the sample from the coloring here 
and you can see the two tones of blonde in there with that dark rooting. Again, the rooting is more extreme on the sample than on the style itself. I think the transition is beautiful, very natural, not too long or too dark of a root. Just a gorgeous, warm, dimensional blonde shade, and I love it. So let's go ahead and look at the details out here again. That wonderful lace front with the delicate knots and lighter fibers in the front. Beautiful Raquel Welsh lace front. The parting space, I think that looks quite natural, that left mono part. Let's look at her from the right. And the back. Beautiful movement. And the left. So absolutely, just a gorgeous, warm, blonde shade. Next, we'll go inside and we'll go over final thoughts. Both dress rehearsal and take a bow are two lovely new styles from Raquel Welsh with their Lux Light cap. As I discussed, the Lux Light cap is a really wonderful light cap construction um, and all the hand tied features on that cap really create lower density, natural looking styles uh, that I love. Um, I think uh, dress rehearsal is a gorgeous, sleek style with some layers and uh, is easily styled into updos and uh, I think is a wonderful option for anyone who likes a very natural, longer, sleek style. And take a bow here, I think would be wonderful for anyone who enjoys these little flips and also just kind of a lower density, comfortable style that won't experience too much friction because it's not too long. Now, both of these styles are made with Raquel Welsh's true to life, heat friendly synthetic fibers. So they will experience some wear and tear and friction over time will cause the ends to be uh, a little less smooth than you would like. And I will leave a link in my description box for how I like to maintain my heat friendly synthetic fibers and refresh them in case you'd like to watch that. The two colors are lovely, uh, really very different, of course, because we have the Iced Java, this very cool, natural looking brunette shade. I'll give you another quick look here inside. And then the shaded wheat, this very warm blonde with the brunette root um, is just a gorgeous color. I love this shade. So absolutely beautiful colors as well. The caps on these two styles are identical. I did just want to mention one slight difference between the two. As I was checking for permatease for Take a Bow, I was surprised that the return fibers were not crimped on this style, at least on the style I have. So uh, I would say this one, uh, Take a Bow, has no permatease where uh, dress rehearsal did have some permatease here at the nape. So slight difference uh, in cap construction between the two, but otherwise identical. So I hope that this review has been helpful. I wanted to remind you that you can purchase both of these styles from Shirley at Shirley's Wig Shop, and I will leave direct links for both styles in my description box down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.